Today on Cooking with a Lion, we're gonna answer the question, what do you do with the annual bumper crop of zucchini and summer squash? And it's all happening right now. Let's get started. Every year, every year, zucchini seems to always find its way into my kitchen and just keeps on coming. But there eventually seems to be a point where you've maxed out every single recipe known to humanity, except for this one. So if you have a couple extra zucchini, this recipe is for you. And it's really very simple. We're gonna start with just a couple ingredients. Shallot, small shallot with a small dice, goes inside of a large bowl. Okay. A little bit of salt and pepper, gonna season it right from the opening. Kosher salt, a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. We need a little bit of acid to help break down a little bit of that heat that has that shallot. We're gonna go with some white wine vinegar. In addition to some lemon. I happen to have half a cup of lemon here. Just squeeze some fresh lemon. Keeps things nice and nice and simple. We're not turning on the oven. We're not even sauteing it because this is gonna be a raw salad. Keeps your kitchen nice and cool in the summertime. This is the vinaigrette. We're not gonna stop there. We're gonna add a few more things. We're gonna add some capers. This is in brine, which is just a little bit of a, you know, the salt water, the brine. I didn't even rinse them. Whole capers, just pop those in there. And then comes the zucchini. Now, with zucchini, chances are your neighbors grow different types. What I have here are three different varieties or colors of zucchini. And what I'm doing is I'm thinly, thinly shaving them just razor, razor thin. And in fact, just a peeler is gonna work a lot better than even the mandolin because you can see through this. You can turn it upside down and onto itself. So it ends up being a lot like pasta, like el dente pasta, which who doesn't love that? So what I like to do is have the younger zucchini or summer squash, peel a few colors, move on to the next one. We have this light green, we're gonna go darker green as well. And then save whatever's left over. Let me tell you, it just makes a lot. These are three small to medium sized zucchini and summer squash and it makes a huge salad. So the rest of this, what I'll do is I'll just cut up later on and roast it over the grill and that's a completely different meal. So hold on to those. And this yellow, beautiful color, all right? You can also peel up if you want to because there are two blades on this peeler, one for left-handed people, one for right-handed people. And that's plenty, this is just me. It's a huge, huge salad. But hold on to this, because we'll need it in just a second. Now's the time I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Now, I don't usually add olive oil until just before serving, but this dish takes no time at all. In fact, even if you had neighbors just a couple houses down, you could bang this recipe out and have it ready for them when they arrive. So now all I have to do is just very gently mix all these ingredients together. It already has the salt, it already has the pepper, the vinaigrette, these capers, shallot. And what happens is the olive oil will help break down the tissue so it ends up looking a lot more like el dente noodles. And when you bite into it, it kind of tastes that way too. It's really lovely. You just serve it up. Don't futz too much about it. Just go ahead and put it in a bowl. Serve your guest. Let it fall where it's supposed to fall. Use your hands, all right? Now that really is a, is a beautiful dish. It took no time to put together. And there's just a couple more things I wanna to add to it. And parsley is something people always seem to have on hand, not really sure what to do with it. This is one of those things to do, this lovely herbaceous flavor. And the last thing, remember I told you to hold on to that vegetable peeler? Well, now's the time you add a little bit of Pecorino Romano or Parmigiano Reggiano, but not with the box grater. Use this peeler and you get these big, beautiful slices. I mean, wouldn't you rather have a big slice like that, right, instead of a tiny little pre-grated cheese grater thing? Me too, so we'll go for this. Just a couple peels. And that's why we added just a little bit of salt in the beginning so we can season the actual vegetables, but now you add a little bit more salt with this cheese at the very end. What else is there to do? Dig in, that's all there is. This, this is it, super fast recipe, comes together with ingredients I'm sure you already have with the bounty that is summertime. Let's grab ourselves a bite and give it a go. 
It's just elegant. It's refreshing. It's what you want in the summertime. It's super easy to come together. You've got that wonderful texture of the summer squash and the zucchini. You've got a little bit of that brininess from the caper, which is different than the salt or the butteriness and the saltiness that comes from the Pecorino Romano or Parmigiano Reggiano, whatever you have. The herbaceousness from that first that little bite of parsley, it's not just a garnish. It actually tastes really darn good. And then you have the, uh, the like heat and that crunch from the shallot and not too much. The lemon juice married with that white wine vinegar brings this floral quality, but it's not too harsh. It's actually nice and soft. And you get a touch of pepper like bing, and it makes it so wonderful. And the fat from the olive oil pulls it all together. There's not a lot of ingredients, right? It pulls together so darn fast, but yet every ingredient plays a very important vital role in this salad. Some people say they have too much summer squash and zucchini, but after this, I'd say there's not enough. Cheers.